guys and welcome to an Urban Viking Hour review. Today I'm reviewing a beer from a brewery that I've never tried before. I've heard good things from them, mainly from uh, Rob from Hobzine. He's reviewed quite a few of their beers um, in the past. I don't know if he's done anything recently, but, but I saw him in um, Tesco, so I thought I'll grab a couple of their cans uh, and just give them a go. So this is the, the first of the two that I've got. It's uh, Wiper and True is the brewery, and it's their Kaleidoscope Pale L, which comes in at 4.2%. It's on offer on their... Um, Four for four for three pounds, so you end up paying about I don't know about two pound a can, something like that, which is really good for you know decent craft beer. Hopefully, it is anyway. Um, let's give this a go. Yeah, I've noticed the um, the selection in Tesco's is getting a lot better. Which is a good thing for me because it saves me a little bit of money as well. Uh, let's have a little look at the back, see if it says anything interesting. It says Citra, Simcoe, and Mosaic, a trio of hops that combine. It's a beautiful effect. Right, okay. That's all I really need to say because three of my favourite hops. I love Simcoe as well. Right, so let's give it a nose. Oh, beer in a glass, as you can see. Slightly hazy, but not, not overly. It doesn't look like a, like a hazy. IPA or anything like that, or a pal. Let's give it a nose. It's just so nice. I love that smell. It's just like really sort of bubbly grapefruits and and lemons. Like you say, there's no tropical, no no real tropical notes. Unless you class grapefruit as a tropical fruit, I don't. Hmm. Yeah, grapefruits and lemons. That's all I'm really getting. So let's give it a go. That's what you really want to sort of. That's what you want to smell and taste when you have a pale ale. Cheers. Hmm. I don't know. It's nice, but I don't know. See, I've got a little theory about supermarket these craft beers in the supermarkets. They tend to um. I don't know if they if it's like the brewery has a certain selection of stuff that they brew, and then um and then they have like a sideline where they make their money from these sort of like safe beers, if that makes sense. You know, safe craft beer. Stuff that's not going to be too in your face. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't taste like anything amazing. It's a nice beer, don't get me wrong. It's quite carbonated. It is slightly hoppy. You are getting those uh, the notes that I mentioned, uh, the grapefruit and citrus. And then you're left with, and then it sort of turns into like almost like a, a hoppy lager. You're getting like a nice sort of lager yeast uh, finish. Not overly hoppy, but just like a nice, crisp, clean lager finish. If this was slightly cheaper, I'd, I'd give it a higher score because it does taste, it just tastes like something like, there's a, there's a Williams Brothers beer called Caesar Augustus, which is like a, a hybrid. Lager, pale, and that's exactly what this tastes like, which is a nice beer. But I know I can get Caesar Augustus for about one pound forty a can. So, so rating wise, I'm a little bit disappointed. I, I, I probably expected a, a bit more than what I thought I was going to get. But you know, it's a decent pale ale. I wouldn't, I would not turn that down. Would I buy it again? Yeah, if it was on offer, I probably would. Um, seven out of ten. Thank you very much. Cheers.